Hi, local game store. Do you guys have any Blazing Aura booster packs? Oh, you do? Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna roll on through. Hi, I, I called about the uh, Blazing Aura booster packs. Yep, y'all have them? Perfect. Um, can I get some packs? Oh, you're doing a limit. That's okay. Uh, can I get some? I bet. Wait. There's a release event going on right now? I bet. I'm in. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's your boy, Open Mango, and uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that intro. Uh, I thought it was pretty pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of was running around looking for packs for Blazing Aura because it released yeah, two days ago as the recording of this video. Uh, today's the 12th of May. Uh, and yeah, I was looking for packs and called my local game store. They had some. I was like, cool, I'm gonna go through. And then um, turned out they had a release event for this um, for the set uh no pre-release i think but they did, did have the release event uh so it's like 20 dollars entry you get four packs uh some promo cards and things like that which i'll show off uh but you essentially open those packs and then you get to building a deck of 30 cards color doesn't matter uh, most of the rules are the same other than that you can use any color in the deck uh and in my packs uh my four packs i was able to pull uh the Go gohan future uh, SR and then the Bulma SR uh, and then this was my deck that I played with uh, I literally had like I think 10 minutes to build a deck by the way I did go three and one or one and three or my bad one and two did I say one and three in my post it was one and two my bad I only played three games uh, but uh, I, I won because I was able to get Zeno out which is this card is insane and apparently a reprint from Masters uh, which is fantastic because like this literally bottom deck every one of their uh, So blue is looking kind of crazy FYI uh, this bottom decked all the cards on the battlefield and Yeah, it allowed me to win for the game, which was insane. Uh, this Broly is also tight uh, But yeah, this was this was my deck kind of threw it together like last minute and then yeah started playing uh, It was pretty good. I really enjoyed it uh, and then I did pick up some packs Oh, well uh, before we get into the packs uh you did get these two promo cards and you could only use one of these in the deck so i used one of these uh because this, this card's crazy like if your leader's awakened this card gains twenty thousand power on your turn so let's it's a 40k right off the bat uh if your leader's awakened which is insane that was a fantastic promo card uh then you did get uh some pre-release or uh, release event packs there's like two cards in those so we'll open those uh we have some promo packs uh that we that i got so we'll open one of those. Uh, then we do have Blazing Aura packs. They had limits on these. I had to help. Got, I got my fiance to help me out and get like three packs. I got one extra for playing, uh, and then they limited it to three and three packs per individual per day. So I got those. Uh, I was thinking about going back and getting some more today, but uh, honestly, the amount of t the amount of time and the pre-release was or the release event was yesterday, which was the eleventh. Um, so it's literally the morning when I'm recording and they're not even open or by now they're actually open, but Yeah, that was that was like a super fun like cool thing um, That I just kind of stumbled onto I was like, oh that you're having a release event. Why not? Let's let's try it out uh, And it was really fun. I think uh, I'm gonna play uh, Ma uh, Fusion world a little bit more uh, in person. So Hopefully I can get some gameplay. Uh, if not, I'll like include it at the end of the video um, Of all the stuff that was going on as part of that release event we also do have some energy marker packs uh some migs open up some and i was like you know what i need to get me some uh so i kind of paid a little bit more than the value they are right now like i paid like i think like 10 or 11 dollars for each of these um and now they're like want to say five to seven dollars something like that so but that's okay uh just how it goes in card card games um yeah we're gonna open up three of those uh, we're going to open up, like I said, the promo packs and things like that. And we have our seven packs of Blazing Aura. So we'll go ahead and put these off to the side. Uh, we'll start with, and actually I'm going to get my sleeves ready because I didn't, I thought I wasn't going to need as many as I do, but I think I'm going to get some extra sleeves out just in case. Uh, but I've been having a lot of fun with Fusion World and I'm super excited. You know what, I'm going to put my... 
Oh, and I want to show this one off too. Uh, got this as well. There weren't that many people playing. Um, I think there's like four people and uh, I guess they had extras of these so they kind of just handed them out uh, But yeah, I got that nice little promo. It's pretty much this but better foiling You can see that like this one has like the star and this one does not um, So yeah, it's like the alternate art of Like one star alternate art of that promo card, uh, which is really cool uh, and I like I said, I've been having a lot of fun. So let's get, dive in. Uh, I think I've rambled on enough But uh, yeah, let's let's do this uh, the release event pack Then we'll get into The what is that the Yeah, release pack promo pack and then the energy marker packs. Hopefully we can pull a Broly or Gohan Super Saiyan 2 Gohan would be ideal. Oh I don't think I can open this the normal way. I opened them. So you know what? I'm gonna have to get the trusty box cutter to make sure I don't damage the cards. There we go. Um, but here, let's see. Release. It. Okay, so this one actually says release event instead of like pre-release. That's cool. You have glimpse of a hidden arrogance, Goku, in the UI form. That's tight. Oh, let's go. We have the Sun Gohan Childhood release event card. Sleeve both of these up. You know what? We're gonna put Gohan right here for good luck. I've been trying. I have been putting Gohan in the front for good luck. He had he hadn't put <laughs> brought all that luck, which I think uh, it's Jiren and Jay right now, Gravity Jay, who have all the luck because they're pulling SCRs left and right while your boy is struggling. All right, let's see. Oh, this is also a fantastic card for blue. Uh, you can look at the top three cards of your deck and arrange them in any order you want at the top or bottom. Um, so this is really good for like stacking your field or stacking your deck. Uh, so that's, that's really cool to see. And then this one, kind of a useless card in my opinion, unless it's like late game. You can drop this, drop three cards. This card gets 25,000 power for the turn. Um, so it's a good ender, I guess. But uh, yeah, other than that, if you're gonna play it early, kinda not worth it. All right, we'll put you there. Oh, need to take that, sleeve that. Man, these cards feel really nice for the release event. Cool. And then we have our promo pack. Let's see what we get out of here. There's four cards in these, so maybe it'll be easier to, yep, significantly easier to open. Oh, I see the code on the back. So I'm going to open it this way because I am going to use the codes to play the game. And I apologize, but all the codes, if you see them, will be utilized. Uh, we have a promo. Oh, there we go. And the promo Piccolo. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. It gets negative 20,000 point power for the turn. Okay, so that would be a nice way to wipe something off the board. Hey, we got the Vegito. Let's go. When attacking, if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, choose up to one battle card with a cost of two or less and return it to its owner's hand. Oh, that's that's really good. Especially for early game. There's a lot of two or three drop or two or one drop cards, so that's pretty good, especially with against green. Uh, and speaking of green, we do have Cell, and Cell is a leader in Blazing Aura. So let's see, on play, choose up to one battle card with Earthling in its special traits and a cost of four or less and add it to its owner's energy in rest mode. Okay, so this is more energy acceleration, which green is known to do. We have a blocker, Bulma, yellow, on play. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Oh, this is actually a better freeze, I think. And then, yeah, there's the code card. Nice. All right, next, let's see. All right, energy marker cards. Super excited about these because I really want to pull that Gohan. Uh, I saw Migs pull it and I, I, I'm like, I need it. Oh, and we do have one right off the bat. Let's go. It's the Goku Black energy marker gold card. This is sick. These look so good. When I was playing at the pre-release event, uh, a lot of people did have their gold energy marker cards. Um, and I'm over here just like, I literally, like the way it happened was insane. I, I called the local game store 
we'll put you right over there. Uh, and they're like, yeah, we, we have some packs. And I was like, okay, cool. Let me go check it out. Uh, and I was with my fiance, um, and we were, oh, let's see, pull that out. And we were, uh, just trying to like go there to pick up some packs. But then I saw the event, uh, and then we got hungry. So we went to like uh, a little burger joint next to the local card shop. And I was like debating on whether or not I wanted, I wanted to play in. Oh, nice. That Goku energy marker looks sick. And I wanted to see if I wanted to play in there. And then I eventually decided, yeah, you know what? I do want to play. Um, and so I registered and signed up. And I'm sure I'll include some more of the footage from there. At, like I said, at, probably at the end of the video. That way you guys can all see it. Um, but yeah, it was just like a random thing. Just hopped in and I was like, let's go. All right, we have uh, Cooler and we have a Beerus. Nice. So those are all of our energy marker packs. And then now we can get into Blazing Aura. Man, it is so hard to find packs for these sets, but uh, I know FB1, so the first set of Fusion World, now is pretty readily available. Like it's not, um, and we're gonna put the code off to the side. Sorry, everyone. Like I said, I do play the game, so I do need those codes. Uh, but yeah, it's like so hard to find packs for this, for any of these sets. Um, but now that the re like a restock has occurred, uh, the price has jumped down, like I said, from what, $200 a box. Ooh, this beer is also really good. If you have Weeses on the board, it's really good. Um, but yeah, like it, from like 200 down to well, like 115, $112 now. We have a Weiss, nice yellow Weiss. We have a first rare is Videl and we got another SR Bulma. Let's go. You can definitely tell they're from different boxes because I don't think you're, you're able. I, I mean, I guess you could get multiple SRs of the same SR in a box, but but yeah, we are definitely looking and, and great Gravity J man. You pulled insane on the uh, on the Blazing Aura openings from the blisters like that was insane. Uh, so amazing to see. Hopefully we can do that or better here today. Um, so yeah, we have a, a Sidra. Corin, a Krillin, Android 19, Energy Blast Volley. We have a Zuno. We have a Ribrian. I haven't seen some of these cards, so I'm definitely going to go back and read through them. Um, but it's a seven cost super combo. Yeah, super combo. Usually seven costs are super combos. Uh, not always, obviously, but uh, most of the time we have uh, Android 20. Absolute lighting. Okay, we have Sun Gohan Adolescence as our first rare and Khalifa as our second rare. This is also a great card, 20,000 um, critical on play. You can add one card from your life to your hand. Uh, that's actually a really good card because uh, typically uh, from what I've seen, crits are usually 15K. So you have like five extra K and most leaders are either uh, 15 well they're all 15 I think in their unawakened state and then they're in their awakened state they're either 20 or 25 oh yeah and uh forgot to mention I actually played I pulled this Zamasu out of my uh, pre-release pack so I was like you know what why not play with the Zamasu so this is really uh, I, like I, I personally think this is a fantastic leader I don't know how meta they'll be but uh, essentially you can heal uh, a life for, uh, like if you use an energy and discard a card in your hand, you get to regain a life, which I actually ended up doing and was one of the reasons I was able to uh, get my only win of the pre-release event, uh, along with that Zeno. Like that combo was crazy, but uh, yeah, and Zeno is a blue deck, so that those things go really, like those two cards will go really well together. We have a Cell, oh, that looks cool. Activate me, and I do play green, so I'm gonna start building a deck. I think I'm gonna start playing in my locals. Um, but yeah, we have a Son Goku, we have a Vegito, this one's alright. I think this was part of the promo? Yeah, this is, but this is when KO'd, not like when attacking. Uh, we have a Whis, and, oh, we have another SR. Um, but this, the alternate art of this is crazy expensive, which I was like, and uh, whoever was, like, there was a guy who was playing against me with this card, and literally wrecked my shit, because one of your opponents 
rest mode battle cards can't switch to active mode while on play and when attacking. So like if you play it on one turn and you swing with it, you and there you have two of your opponents uh, and two of your opponents battle cards are in rest mode. Both of them will not be able to restand, so you can't attack with them, which is insane. Uh, that was that was insane. Like I was like, wait, this could I literally lost the game because of that. Like that card right there. All right, next pack. I think I saw a shine. Hopefully we get something crazy. We have the Mecha Frisa. Android 18, Piccolo. We have Divine Hammer, Trunks Youth, Asensu Bean. Let's see, activate main for three energy. Add the top card of your deck to your life and then activate battle. Uh, choose your leader or up to one of your battle cards and it gets 5,000 for the turn. Hmm, interesting. I don't know how good that card will be. Uh, did I have a Rosie in my deck? Whis. Goku, that looks tight. And it's a crit. Three cost, though, but it has 25k. That's actually pretty decent for, like, early game for red. Uh, I'm sure there's better cards, but... Uh, on play, place one... Place one card from your energy into your drop, then add the top card of your deck to your energy. Oh, okay. This might be good in, like, uh, some some Android deck, I would say, probably. Uh, we have a Cell Games Arena. That looks sick. And, oh, we do have an alt art. Let's go. Trunks Future Alternate Arts. And this is a green card. On play, if you have five or more energy, add up to one card from the top of your deck to your energy in rest mode. Okay, more energy acceleration. Man, they have a lot of great cards for energy acceleration for green. That's insane. And the texture is insane. Holy cow, that looks good. Not bad from like three packs. Or like four packs now? Yeah, four packs now. Want to make sure not to break anything. All right, put this down here. There we go. We got a Vegeta. Imbecile. We have a Chi Chi, a Bulma, Time Ring, Cell, Second Form, or I guess third technically because Larva is one. Uh, then we have the glimpse of, hit, of a hidden arrogance. We have Trunks Youth. We have a Kale. Blue Power Awakening. Eh. I mean, it's cool, but I think it could be better. The art. Um, super combo. Old Kai. Auto. Once per turn. Opponent's turn. Uh, when you use this card in a combo from your hand, this card gets 1,000 combo power. So is this like a 30k? Auto opponent's turn. When you use this card in a combo from your hand, this card get, I think it might be. Someone check me on that. Cause that'd be insane. 30,000 for one combo? Uh, we have a Frieza. Permanent your turn if, there's, if your leader's awakened gains 5,000 power. Nice, a one cost 20,000. That's pretty dang good. And, oh, ain't no way. Back to back alt arts. And this one is sick. It's the Zamazu fused SR alternate art. This, this is such a sick art. Like, look at the eyes. Oh my god, that looks insane. I okay. So apparently, um, I, one, I'm knocking things over, but uh, I already ran out of sleeves. Holy cow, that's insanely nice. So we got two alt hearts from six or five packs so far and two SRs like every wow that is insane all right we'll put that over there and take this and put it down here because I'm going to use that when the codes become live in a couple weeks I think the third 23rd all right we have a Sun Gohan adolescence great say a man Piccolo Bulma Goku. What's this, what's this guy's name? Murichan. 
Interesting, kind of looks like a boo the fist. Uh, absolute lightning. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and place it at the bottom of its owner's deck. This could be really good for like a clearing a, a Broly or something. And they won't see that again for the rest of the game. Uh, we have a Tian Shinha. We have a Paparoni. We have a rare Vegeta and a rare saved by a barrier. That's our second rare. Last pack of the opening. I hope you all enjoyed this because this has been a crazy opening. Um, yeah, appreciate you all. Um, I'll also be providing more updates on like uh, a bunch of stuff that's just going on with the channel uh, as well as box breaks. I think I wanted to do the Realm of the Gods box break. Might have to change that because a lot of the homies I, I want to get into it who are like supporters of the channel and stuff. So um, I really want to make sure they have access to it. Uh, so I may push that one later and then do a, maybe another box break. I'm thinking one piece probably. Um, so yeah, we have a Bergamo. Be stay tuned. Everything will be notified. If you're in, in the Discord, you'll be notified first. Uh, and then I'll make a video of making sure everybody else out there would know. We have a Zuno. We have a Senzu Bean. We have a Beerus. A Whis. Nice. Back to back. Those cards actually go together <laughs> pretty well because uh, Beerus gets more power for more Whises. Um, then we have Son Goku Crit. We have a Son Gohan Childhood. Zeno. My goat right there. Helping me win my... <laughs> my only game and <laughs> no no way we got another alt art future trunks that's crazy so these definitely came out of different boxes while i was um playing uh it that's crazy one two three four five out of seven packs we got five hits and three of them being alternate arts <laughs> that's ins that is insane oh my goodness and not to mention we got the goku black gold energy marker card i am so happy to have that oh my god this has been an insane opening appreciate you all for sticking around hope you all have a great rest of y'all's day and i'll catch you in the next one bye